Alright, today, this video, not going to be a fishing video because, well, uh, it was about 30 mile an hour winds outside, and it's started to snow this morning. Yeah, so, uh, a little cold out, a little too cold for fishing, but, um, I'm thinking I'm going to get ready, I'm going to be getting ready for, I might go river fishing again, but if you watched my last video, no places have worms, so like, none of the bait stores have worms, I don't know, something with Corona probably, but uh, no place have worms, so I, I'm like, well, you can't really river fish without worms, because either you go for just catfish, or you bring worms in there, and you got, you could catch carp, sturgeon, catfish, suckers, walleye, you could catch so many more stuff with um, a worm on your hook, so, right now, I just got a little five-gallon pail, oh, wait, that's not a five-gallon pail, a little ice cream pail, <coughs> with some worms, but, uh, here, let's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, if you look inside there, they, uh, most of them are dead. I just go out on the rainy days and go collect some of the little red ones that I can find out there, but most of them just turn into mush and most of them die right away. So uh, I kind of got to, I think it's just because I don't have enough good stuff in here and like a good place for them. So what I'm going to do, what this video is going to be, is uh, I'm going to be building a worm place or a worm home I guess you could say in this big big container here so uh, I'm gonna pretty much be showing you guys how I'm gonna make it and how you could make it easily for free because I'm not gonna spend any money on this so uh, first things first I gotta get all the materials so first you're gonna need some worms and some black dirt I just collected all the dirt that you buy worms in the little container I just always Add it to that. Next, you're gonna need some newspaper, and with that newspaper, you're gonna need some shredded paper. So I got some shredded paper up in there. That's gonna be key for a lot of bedding. Um, so we got that. After that, you're gonna need some more good deep black dirt. Black dirt, excuse me. Then you're also gonna need some like, like de decomposing leaves and some other, just like natural stuff for nutrients for the worms and other stuff. And you're also gonna just need kitchen scraps to, I guess, feed them and to get some nutrients up in there. And then some water, obviously. Um, probably a drill because we're gonna drill a couple holes in this container just for airflow reasons. So. Um, yeah, first things first, let's get all those materials and then we'll uh, come back in. Alright guys, so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to get this black dirt. What you want to do is you want to break through the first couple layers of dirt just to get down to this darker stuff. Just a couple scoops. I'm going to put this in there. I'm just going to put that in my pail for now. So now, I get this out of here. Next thing we need is some decomposing leaves and some other stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab my rake. So what we're gonna do with this, is it snowing? Yes it is. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go by some of this other dead trees, dead stuff, that'll be good. So you're just gonna rake it up. Get all that those roots. That's good, yeah. Just take this, put all this junk in there. You obviously don't want these long roots in here. 
and you can don't want none of those big chunks of sticks so if you could sift it out it would probably be a little better Okay, there. that's it for the part where you actually gotta do, go outside to get some natural stuff. So we'll bring this back inside. Oh. Woo, got the goods. Holy buckets. Oh. Kind of gas me out right there. All right. Okay. So now, now that we got everything, first things first, we gotta drill some airflow holes in into this. So I just got a little drill. I don't know. I don't even know how big this is. So I'm just gonna drill some holes into this real quick. So uh, yeah, let's get going. All right, we got the holes drilled. What I did is I put three holes up top, three holes down below. And then on the short side, I just did two holes, one up top, one down below. Then I matched it on each side. Then on the bottom, put one hole directly in the middle. That's just gonna be used for when we put water in to make sure that there's not too much water. But right away, I'm gonna, right away, I'm gonna cover that hole because obviously I don't want the water to drip out right now. So I'm just gonna cover that hole with some tape. But um, yeah, we're gonna get that in, then we're gonna get, the sh we're gonna shred some of that newspaper. I'm just gonna shred it by hand and some scissors. And then we're gonna put it in the bottom and then get some water. And I'll show you all that later once I get it ready. Alright, so I got all this mixed up in here, the shredded paper, shredded newspaper, mixed it all up nice and good, it's about, honestly, it's about two inches thick, three, three to four inches thick of stuff, so uh, now we're just going to take this water, we're going to dump it in here, and it's going to loosen it up, and most of the paper should soak it up, um, that's just going to, we're doing this on the bottom, that way, any water that comes up or moisten it'll just keep the layers above wet and good uh have good moisture for uh the next layers which are going to be um which is going to be the dirt and then some leaves and then obviously some of the actual good black dirt and then I'll, on top of that i would do and i'm going to do another layer of more shredded paper and shredded newspaper so uh yeah, right now we're just going to dump the water in there and then mix it all around. And you don't want a lot of water, but you want enough water where you can grab a bunch and squeeze and it'll be little drips. So uh, that's what we're going to do now. took the shredded paper, shredded newspaper, put it in the bottom layer, um, filled it up just right where these holes were, just about right where those holes were. 
Then I added some normal dirt, just some dirt that I've dug up. You saw that. Um, after that, I added another little layer of shredded paper and newspaper. Wetting that up. That way that layer of dirt will stay moist. Um, after that, I added some leaves and some dirt and some black dirt. Some of the stuff that comes in the worm containers. Then I added a super thin layer of newspaper. Added some more leaves and then I put the rest of the dirt over. The rest of the worm dirt and the worms. Um, and then I put leaves over and some newspaper and I wet it all down to make it end. And I got it draining into this bucket here. That way it won't get over moistured. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So put about, I think, it was probably close to like 50 worms in there. So worms, I don't know if they're going to reproduce, but usually it takes them about two weeks to reproduce. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. So uh, if you did, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.